Hey, it's Malika. I'm the proud owner of Lose a Pound Daily and Fit Life Profits. And today I'm going to show you how to add a picture gallery to your website. I'm a Shopify partner, which means that I'm an affiliate for Shopify, but I also build websites for people. And one of my clients, I'm almost finished with her website, but I wanted to add a picture gallery just to give it a little bit more pop. So I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. In addition to that, I want to invite you to also use Shopify to open up your own website. Shopify has this amazing trial in which you can, in 14 days, not pay them a dime, but you can develop your website, add products, and go ahead and start selling and not have to pay anything for 14 days. Again, I am an affiliate for Shopify, so clicking on my link at the, at the bottom will give me an affi affiliate commission. So I want to go ahead and provide that to you as a service. I don't think that you will be disappointed with Shopify. Love the platform. In addition to that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because not only do I do websites, but I'm also, like I stated, the proud owner of Lose a Pound Daily in which we do weight loss tips, we do challenges, we have supplements, and I would be more than happy to share a lot of cooking recipes with you that you'll also see on my channel. So subscribing will give you the ability to know when I've uploaded a new video and you can follow me there. So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to show you how to add this gallery to your website. Hey, okay, so we're back. So this is the back office of my customers, one of my clients' websites. Uh, she's going to be launching pretty soon, but until she does, we have some cosmetic things that I want to fix and I want to go ahead and make better. So before I actually go into the back part of it, I'm going to hit this preview button so you can see what the total website looks like before I add the gallery. So this is her website, and um, so here you can put whatever type of announcement that you want to put on here. I just put free shipping on all orders. Uh, this is the menu, which is fully customizable. This is a static slider. And then if you click shop now, it'll take you into the products page. But we're not going to do that right now. Um, if you scroll down a little bit, this is where I have her um, mission statement for her company. I uploaded this picture and we put the text in there. And you keep sliding down and then this is part of the collection. Right now she's got five products and she's going to increase to more products. Um, you keep going and because she caters to pets, cats and dogs, so we put a little bit more and put a picture of a cat and this is a little bit more text here. You keep on going down and this is a slider with two photos because they are our family. If you click on it, there's a link that takes you into the product page and then there's another slider too. If you want to look at that one, you could just click this button and it'll take you to that slider. And then this is the blog posts. So I do these websites for my clients. And with this package, it actually includes three blog posts that really are, um, you know, they're SEO optimized. Keyword search has been done. It gets you to a point where you can start having your blogs and your, um, you know, indexed on Google. And you can start ranking. Come on down a little bit. And then I have some testimonials that's in here for her. And that's it. But right now, what I want to do is add a gallery. So I'm going to go back in here, go into Customize. And here, it's going to be a section. So what I'm going to do is scroll down and add the section. And so you see this debut theme has several sections that you can add. This, you can add more blog posts. We don't want to do that. Collection list, uh, gallery. This is what we're going to add. An image with text, image with text overlay, which is what this is. A logo list, a slideshow, which we already have that in there. Featured product, we have that. A newsletter sign up. We don't have a newsletter sign up at the bottom because we already have um, this functionality where we have this pop up. And then there's also a field at the bottom, too, so we don't want to do overkill. If this was a physical store, not an e-commerce store, then you could do this map, but this is e-commerce. We do have testimonials, and um, there's some advanced layout if you want to add some custom content. But like I stated before, we're just going to add a gallery. So I already uh, go ahead and click Add, and then here, click in here so that you can actually add your images. Now in this section height, it's going to depend on your photos. Since her photos were already done by an external source, I kind of have to work with the dimensions of the photo. But the good thing about debut is that it gives you the ability to change the image height. You could go extra small or you could go extra large and anything in between. So we're going to start with medium, which is what it automatically defaults to. 
and see if that'll work. Okay, so I'm just gonna drag and drop some photos over to the gallery. So this is the first one. All right, now that this is uploaded, you could tell clearly that it's cut off, but I'm gonna go ahead and upload the other photos and then I'll go ahead and make the cosmetic changes. So here is another one I'm gonna just drop. And I'm gonna drop one more. So I'm gonna have three photos across. All right, let me do this one. So let me just show you how this looks. If I were to just save it, If I were to save the photo and then come over here and just refresh and scroll down. So you'll see that part of it is cut off. And of course we don't want that. So what you could do is either resize your images which would take a lot of work to resize them just to fit them in here. Or you could try to change your section height. And that would be the quickest, easiest thing to do, is to try to change the section height. So let's do that and then click Save. And then go back. I like to refresh from the main page. So that I'll see. Okay, so it's not perfect, but that's definitely much better. It's not cutting off the wording. Um, if there's anything that's cut off, it's just a little bit, you know, that's cut off a little bit here at the top. So if you wanted to, of course, you can, like I stated, have your images resized so that you can fit it down. Um, and if not, you know, just play around with the image height to see if, or the section height to see if that would make a difference. Now this I definitely wouldn't do because it's gonna condense it. It's gonna make it um, small, like not as high. So it's gonna make it shorter but wider. So I definitely wouldn't make it extra small. And if you did it as large, you know, you're still going to have the same issue as it being cut off because it should now be taller than wider. So this one, the small would be my first choice, you know, if I had to choose. Okay. And so now what you want to do is go back to each image and put in some SEO text and you want to put in a link. So if you actually click on the image, you don't have to double click, just click on the image. And then you wanna write a brief description. So I would say that this is Daily Naturals, Calming Chews, um, Can't read that picture. Chamomile, passion flower, and ginger root is what I'm going to put on here. And click save. And then I'll come back over here and post a link to the product. So this is the soft shoes. So I'm going to post a link to the um, soft shoes, which are here. Now, if you didn't have all of the text on the picture and you wanted to put a caption, then you could put shop here, but there's already a lot of text. So if someone hoovers over it, they're going to see that they can actually click on it anyway. So, um, you know, that's personal opinion. If you want to add more text, um, I'm not going to add text but I'm gonna to continue to add um, some information to each of these pictures. So this is the Omega 3 Fish Oil for Cats by Daily Naturals. And then I'm gonna add, once again, I'm gonna add, um, the link and then this last one 
is the probiotic soft chews. Okay, that would be the last one. This is the probiotics. Yep, and then you would hit save. Now, the last thing you want to do is if you didn't want this gallery to be all the way at the bottom of the page, you could then close this section and move the section up. So you could just take this and you can move it up. So let's just say I wanted it closer to the top, um, right after our promise to you. I could put it there, click save, and now I'll go and look at it live. And so I would then and there, there it is. So this is where it would be. And then the rest of the collection. All right, so now that we've finished, we've gone ahead and added the gallery to the website. It's a couple more little cosmetic things that I wanna do before she's completely live. But that was just showing you step-by-step step how you too can add a gallery to your own Shopify website. And don't forget there's links at the bottom for you to try out for Shopify via the link that I provide below. Subscribe to this video and also you can go ahead and join my uh, Facebook group Blues of Pounds Daily so that you can get tips and tricks and recipes and other things that you may need for support in your weight loss journey or weight maintenance journey. It was great talking to you. Until next time.